Hey, what's up, guys and girls? It's your boy Kira here, and I'm here to talk about warm mind cells and how they're gonna be your best freaking friend. So let's get started. So usually, when I do in-game content, in-game PVE content such as like Vault of Glass, dungeons, etc., I usually like to run a warm mind build. You know, so I could clear out ads fast, and so I don't get killed as often get that protection from the war mine cells so let's get started what I usually like to run is uh, what do you call it I usually usually like to run a seven seraph or an Icolos weapon such as like the SMG or uh, the seven seraph SMG or the officer revolver or the carbine those are really good, you know, obviously they're very good warm mind makers because they are 7 Seraph and Aculos weapons. But keeping that, usually I don't run Anarchy with a 7 Seraph. I usually run Wither Horde because when you shoot a Wither Horde shot and you switch to your Aculos SMG, you can uh, generate warm mind cells from that, which is pretty freaking good. And, you know, you just blast it up and, you know, Clara adds, get that damage resistance. All right, here and now, I'm gonna talk about the build. The build that I usually like to run is Rather Rasputin, Global Reach, and if I have a Void Helmet on, I usually usually like to run War Mind's Protection, which is really good because it gives you a 50% damage reduction, which is very good. And if you pair that with Protective light that's a hundred percent damage reduction, which is really freaking good, right? So that's good. And then I run Wrath of Rasputin with uh, what do you call it? I don't remember the mod name Wrath of Rasputin and Rage of the War Mind. Yes, I usually run these two together because Wrath of Rasputin gives you, you know, solar splash damage, could generate War Mind cells with rage of the war mine which adds additional solar damage so if i was to kill or if i was to generate an orb shoot the cell and then all the enemies in the area would burn they have chances to drop a war mine cell so i could just keep making infinite war mine cells over and over and over again and that's where xenophage comes into play xenophage is really good for stuff like that especially if you kill a champion and just yellow bars I believe like bosses if I'm not mistaken so that's very helpful and that's just infinite warm on cells all around the place and you're just dealing mad damage plus warm on protection which is it gives you reduced damage reduction or it gives you reduced damage when you're buying warm on cells which is really good and now I want to talk about other good builds that you could use but I don't quite have the mod for it yet it's called fire team medic fire team medic kills you when you shoot the warm mind cell in the area or when you generate a warm mind cell and you shoot it it heals everybody in the area so uh, let me find it yeah global reach is good I usually run global reach rather Rasputin rage of the warm mind um, I don't know what the other war mine cell is, but as I previously sh shown, I run those mods. And there's other good mods like cellular suppression. It's not meant to destroy the cell, but if you damage it, you know, what do you call it? It does like a burst of suppressing void energy, and it's almost like a blinding grenade, where you know if you throw it at them they don't they move but they don't shoot at you so that's what cellular suppression is for is it's really freaking good I love it a lot it's really good power of Rasputin is also pretty good you gain weapon damage by warm on cells that's I mean it's not the best thing in the world but it's good to have if you're looking for that kind of build and then the best mod here in my opinion or one of the best mods here 
is fire team medic when you shoot the war myself you get healed which is pretty good because it heals you instantly I just don't have a chance to get it yet because Ada hasn't sold it yet and I wasn't here during season of the was it the worthy season of the worthy I wasn't here during that so that's another thing and then there's a new mod or there's two mods in the artifact Hammer of the War Mine, detonations from War Mine cells you destroy cause disruption, stunning combatants, otherwise known as the Overload Champions and the Unstoppables. That's really good, but that's something I don't use. I don't use it often because I don't think it's that important to me, but it's okay. It's all right. Warmind's Decree is also very, very good, especially if you're using Truth Teller. If you're using Truth Teller or anything void that causes splash damage, you have a chance to generate Warmind cells, which is pretty good. I enjoy this mod a lot. I use, I was using it during Grandmaster Nightfalls. This thing is your best friend. It's really good. I love it. So, that's a that's uh that's the mods the warm my mod review and if you have any questions about it leave in leave comments down and leave comments down in the video and yeah it's a pretty good mod these are really good mods they're really helpful in endgame raids dungeons grandmasters i love using these mods these mods are amazing and you should try to get them when Ada sells them. You know, you don't want to miss out on majority of these. So, yeah. That's it for today's video and if you have any questions, let me down let me know down in the comments below and I hope y'all have you know, a good rest of y'all day. All right.